today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I use Notion to plan my Notion course and how you can also use Notion to plan your own courses if you plan to make one. So let's just get started. Hey everyone, my name is Jenna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be walking through literally the step-by-step -step process of how I decided to come up with my brand new course, which is called Notion Foundations. Notion Foundations is a very intense course, uh, but it's not super long. I really tried to make it so that each video was really short and easy to understand, so you feel like you're accomplishing things as you work through it. And it's a really tutorial-based uh, course on how to use Notion, how to set it up. I even have things on like how to sell Notion templates, um, how to use automations, uh, going through each individual database and all the different views, filtering, sorting, all the different properties, literally everything you need to know about Notion is in this course. It is available right now at notionfoundations.com and it's $47, but you also get a $30 template in included. So it's basically $17, which is amazing. I wanted to make a course specifically because when you're on YouTube, sometimes you, uh, it's hard to like know where to find all the information. You're watching a Notion tutorial and you're like, well, wait, how did they do that step? So it goes step by step through all the things that you need to know about Notion. I've had so many people join my Facebook group, ADHD and Notion, being like, I just don't know how to use Notion. I wanna learn the basics. And so that's why I created this course. Um, it took me several weeks to make, uh, and I'm really excited that it's now available. So I wanna talk to you guys today about how I made that course. Um, I mean, I could walk through as well, like how I filmed it and stuff, but really I wanna talk specifically about how I planned it out how I tracked where I was and kind of how I decided on the layout of the course as well as how Notion was involved in that process. So let's just head over to Notion and I'll kind of walk you through um, specifically the uh, setup that I did and kind of how I, how I made my course. So let's go. Okay, so when you first get into my Notion, I go straight to business projects, which is where I house all of my projects. You'll see under first priority, I've got Notion templates, my courses and my events. So I open up courses and this is where I actually house um, the information about my Notion course. So I have three different things that I've set up. One is the actual Notion course like curriculum. The next is the sales page. So this is the page that I wrote out um, and we'll get to all of these. And then I haven't set this up yet, but eventually I wanna sign up an affiliate account. So uh, with the software that I use, you can have affiliates. So if you're interested in being an affiliate for my Notion course, that will be coming very soon. So the first thing that I have here is I literally have just a basic table database and I set up in my head what I want to uh, sort of organize my course into. So I just kind of started thinking of different topics and I was like, okay, I got to kind of figure out the organization of the course. So I literally just went through and like wrote it all out. So I added a number for each module. So the, the module number and then the actual number of the actual video. So you'll see over here, I have literally all the names of all the different, um, you know, videos that I was doing as well as linking them up to the specific module. You can also see, you can view them by board. This was actually, I haven't completely updated this. All of them should be uploaded now. So if I move this over, but as I was going, I was like filming a video and then I would go and I would, um, send it into my editor, right? So I'd film it on OBS, send it into my editor, upload it to the YouTube platform that would then be embedded into the course. So it took a very long time for me to do this because there were so many videos that I had to record. So as I was going through, I would go through and just change the status every time I finished filming a video. So I had uh, filmed, in progress, uploaded. So once it was filmed and not edited, I would change the status. So this allowed me to quickly move through all the videos I needed to make. And then I would literally upload them to the software that I was using, which is Thrivecart, which is a great uh, online course software. So that was really about the gist. Some of these have like information in them if I had like notes, but I kind of knew what I wanted to say for each course. Uh, or for each course video. And so I kind of just had a structure in my head and I'm like, all right, like I know exactly what I need to do for each of these and how to explain it. This is basically my course. I know this is probably a little bit more basic than maybe some of the online course templates I've seen, but I'm like, I needed something simple that I could quickly go through and I could add notes into all of these if I wanted to. So that was honestly how I set up my course. Um, and we can go through some other things as well. The other thing that I also set up was, um, if you didn't know, I actually um, certified as a sales funnel strategist. So I actually have this layout 
of like the sales page. So this is taken from FG Funnels uh, course. And basically this is like the layout of the sales page. So I actually went through and wrote that out. Um, and then I also had friends, um, sorry, I had friends like review it. So I actually made a list of all of the different people. I'm not gonna open it because it shows their feedback. I actually sent them on Instagram feedback for the sales page. And then they sent back screenshots and text. So I added that into Notion as well for me to go through and make sure it was updated um, before it went live. So that is how I added that to the course. Um, and then with the affiliate sign up, I'm not sure exactly what, what I'm gonna do yet, but this is probably just gonna be a list of people that I had sign up. So when it comes to other parts of the course, um, I filmed it all on OBS, which is what I'm filming right now. Um, it is a great software, it is free. And then I uploaded it all into YouTube, into Thrivecart. Uh, and then I also created graphics inside of Canva to make for the course. That is what I've done. I also did a free webinar and I use this software called Luma, which is a free, uh, I guess like sign up sales page for Zoom calls. So I use Luma as well and that was really helpful. So anyways, that is really all I did. Um, I can add this as a template if you want, it's really basic. Uh, but it is inside of my ADHD Life Tracker template. If you go into um, the tags and knowledge vaults, you can add that as a business project. It's one of the many things that I do. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful. This is a really quick video on how I kind of created my course. Um, I am gonna walk through the course a little bit um, on Thrivecart so you can kind of see it from my end um, because I think that it's very helpful for people to see um, kind of how it's structured and how you can kind of uh, go through it on your own. So let's just jump over. Okay, so this is what the course looks like. You'll see I have a ton of different modules over here on the left-hand side. I go through every single thing. So like if you go through, you will see that I have literally so many different videos about every single topic when it comes to Notion. Um, I even have modules on selling Notion templates um, and some of my tips and tricks. I have automation tools that I've set up. I also have, like I mentioned, the Life Tracker template, which is included. So my $30 best selling template is part of this process and it's part of the course, so it's totally worth it. And then I also have it embedded some of my YouTube videos that I thought were helpful. So all of these are new videos videos, none of them I've ever created before. So if you want to, you can watch one and then you just continue to the next video and it will allow you to show your progress as well, which is super cool. So it really helps you stay on track. The videos are pretty short, so they're not like going to take you forever to get through. And then you can immediately go and try out that specific element um, as you go through the course. I think that's the most helpful thing is go and then try it every time you watch a video, see how it works. So anyways, that is my course. It is available at Notion Foundation com. Hope you guys check it out. It was a lot of fun making and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.